Hallo, hallo meine lieben Zuschauer und herzlich willkommen zu einer Folge zu Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Wenn euch das Video gefällt, dann lasst ein Abo und ein Like da und ich wünsche euch jetzt viel Spaß mit dem Video. Ja, moin Leute, ne? Und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Ja, beim nächsten Mal haben wir Alexandrias Geburtstag gefeiert, beziehungsweise haben eine Nebenmission desbezüglich gemacht. Haben auch noch äh, in Kolonie Gamma eine Nebenmission gemacht. Dort haben wir aber momentan ab dem Punkt keine mehr. Haben auch noch zusätzlich äh, für diese Schreibblockade endlich mal dieses eine Item hier in der Gegend eingesammelt. Und nach dem letzten Mal hatte ich ja schon gesagt, beziehungsweise gegen Ende, dass wir jetzt Anski der Schlaue fertig machen. Ein Boss, der hier rumsteht. Damit wir hier einen Reisepunkt haben. Mal gucken, ob wir die Angriffskette äh, hinbekommen. Ich habe nämlich extra Gondo ins Team geholt, in der Hoffnung, eine Angriffskette voll zu kriegen. Dass wir endlich mal ihre Angriffskettenaktion sehen. Was sie da kann. Oh, mit dir! Oh, wir kriegen es äh, durch die Angriffskette. Die kommt gleich. So, Angriffskette. Ich will sehen, was Gondo in der Angriffskette äh, als Oberfähigkeit hat. Natürlich habe ich sie nicht instant. So, da haben wir endlich die Fähigkeit von Gondor. Lawinensturm. Steigert werden Angriffsketten den Schadensbonus bei kritischen Treffern um 125 Prozentpunkte. Okay, die ist ein Angriffsbooster. Endlich sehen wir mal, was sie kann. So, Gondor, dann hau mal rein. Oh, die haut richtig rein. Na gut, jetzt sehen wir uns aber am Ende der Angriffskette. So, Leute, Angriffskette ist rum. Vieh ist schon tot. Aber wenigstens haben wir jetzt endlich mal gesehen, was äh, Gondor in der Angriffskette bringt. Kann den Angriff übelst boosten. Ich finde, sie ist auch generell sehr stark in der Kette, weil sie sich ja selber safe reaktiviert. Und dadurch immer mächtiger wird. Ja, das Vieh hat nicht lange durchgehalten. So, und hier ist so ein richtiges Schlachtfeld von Toten. Mögen sie in Frieden ruhen. Im Übrigen, mir ist erst nach der letzten Folge aufgefallen, dass ich bei Alexandria schon längst äh, die Heldenmission gemacht habe, dass die auf Stufe 20 geht. Na ja, gut, Kiste hier noch gönnen, da oben ist noch eine weitere Hülle. Dann gucken wir bei Koloniota, äh, wieso ist hier äh, auch ein Reisepunkt? Hätte ich den vorher gefunden. Ob in Kolonie Jotun dann noch eine weitere Quest ist. Bei Kolonie Gamma ist ja irgendwie komischerweise gerade keine. Vielleicht müsste ich da auch erstmal die Harmonie steigern. Kann ich ja äh, gleich noch machen. Die Höhle schicke ich auch mal nach Hause.
So, dann reiz ich jetzt mal zuerst zu Kil in Kolonie Iota. So, ich bin in Kolonie Iota jetzt. Ich habe mal alles an äh, diesen Karteidingern abgegeben, was ich abgeben konnte. Außer bei Kolonie Tau, wo wir eh schon voll sind. Scheinbar ist aber keine einzige Koloniestufe hochgegangen. Ich gucke gerade, ob hier irgendeine Informationsquelle ist. Kann aber auch sein, dass wir mit Kolonie Ioto eigentlich auch schon fertig sind. Don't you think it's about time for a meal? Mm. Mit Kolonie Ioto scheinen wir auch fertig zu sein. Hier scheinen keine weitere Quests zu sein. Welche äh, Kolonie äh, können wir dann noch äh, gucken eigentlich? Kolonie May wissen wir, dass momentan nichts los ist. Tower mir fertig. Ich kann mal viel gucken, ob ich mittlerweile abgeben kann. Und bei Kolonie 30, ob da mittlerweile eine neue Nebenquest ist. Ich glaube, ansonsten haben wir desbezüglich eigentlich alles momentan abgehakt, was man abhaken kann. Kolonie Gamma haben wir auch geguckt. Lambda haben wir definitiv auch fertig. Würde ich jetzt zumindest behaupten. In der City haben wir auf jeden Fall noch was vor uns. Aber ich glaube, wir können mit dem nächsten Part definitiv damit der Hauptstory weitermachen. Ich gucke mal bei Kolonie 4 und Kolonie 30, ob dort noch irgendwas ist. So, in Kolonie 4 habe ich jetzt schon nachgeguckt. Dort war keine weitere Nebenquest und... Ich konnte das Ding nicht vollenden, bisher. Aber hier ist zumindest eine Nebenquest. I've got to do my part to keep the colony running. Is it really that bad? We used to get support based on how well the Levna squadrons performed in battle. The castle provided for us. So now we have to work like a mudder to make up the shortfall. Why didn't you tell me? Didn't think I needed to. I thought I could manage well enough by myself. Now that stink of untruth. You said working hard for Valdi. Did not want sympathy vote. Hey! You said want to act dependable to get on good side of Valdi. Tried hard not to show weakness. Is that true? What does it matter? Fact is, I can't be lying down on the job. Look, we get that you're under a lot of pressure. What is it that needs doing, anyhow? Dispatching of Levnesses to Colony Lambda. To Lambda? So you're lending out Kavesi Levnesses to Agnes? That's right. Even after they've served their purpose in battle, The Levnesses themselves can still function. I wanted to get as much use out of them as I could. So he say. But now look at Sorry's state of him. Where Papa also been showing you that ropes as little side project. Oh, you were teaching me. Let me help. I'd love to. Come on. Give me a job to do. Huh? Uh, well, if you're asking, how about handling the Levnes shipment I was talking about? Once you get them there, it's just a matter of delivering them to the commander. Sure thing. I can do that. Ich muss jetzt nicht den ganzen Weg laufen, ne? What need does Commander Izzard have with Kavesi Levnesses? I'm not 100% on the details, but he wants them for some kind of survey. Er muss seine Onsen finden. I wonder what's going on at Lambda. No point speculating when we can just check it out ourselves. Right? Right. Be thorough, yeah? Oh, but, uh... Don't the right thing. Oh, we'll be fine. You just take a lie down and make sure you're all rested up. So then, off to Colony Lambda we go. Oh, this is sogar the Helden mission. There's been a change in Colony relations. Na gut, dann auch zu Colony Lambda, ne? Commander Izzard, right? We're here with the Levnus, as you ordered. I appreciate how readily you accepted our request. Thank you. 
But I must say, I hadn't expected you to deliver them in person, Commander. Yeah, sorry about that. You had to improvise. Oh, you know how to operate them, right? Our guys normally do the piloting. We've hired pilots for that very reason. Though, we wouldn't mind getting some pointers. Oh, that's great. Our pilots have been wanting to chat with you, too. Anything you need to know, just ask. Glad to hear it. Commander Izzard, I hear you're using the Levnesses for some sort of survey. Care to divulge? Yes, uh, about that. We've observed recently that our water sources around the colony are being rapidly depleted. So you're using them to investigate? No. In fact, the survey branch has already identified the cause. It's the Ansels living at the top of the Great Falls. Ansels? But their natural habitat should be the Urion Mountains. Indeed. And their presence here has been affecting the flora. We're particularly concerned about their laying waste to the cure grass we use to treat our troops. That's an issue, all right. So you want to take those overgrown feather brains out of the picture? Is that it? Which is why you need powerful Levnesses. You're looking a bit worse for wear there, Izzy. You been running yourself ragged too? Too? My lieutenant's also been burning himself out. Das wurde doch schon geklärt mit dem Onsen. We'll help you out too. I appreciate the offer, but I think you underestimate this job, and you're going to collapse from overexertion too. Better to share the load, no? It'll make life easier. Valdi's really worried about him. Could be a nice little excursion. No one's gonna complain. All right then, if it's no trouble. We'll have this issue sorted in no time flat with you on board. Easy peasy. Just let us have him. I look forward to this, Commander Valdi. Okay, ich darf jetzt erstmal ein bisschen nach oben. The Ansels were sighted a bit further up, right? That's right. There are skeeter nests around here as well. We should take care. Wait, is that? Those are the things that Izzard wants defeated. Is this who's been giving Izzard so much trouble? Great! Okay, ich dachte, hier kommt eine Sequenz. Ich hasse diese Vögel. Schmeiß ihn immer nach hinten. That looks like them all. They won't be tearing up the cure grass any longer. I hope that now. Their fighting days are finally over. Valdi, pleased to look. Such pretty, pretty flowers. Oh, wow. But it's such a tiny patch of them. <sighs> you think those ants have got them or something? No, those flowers are from the Urian Mountains. And they don't normally grow in this region. Well... How then? Maybe it's just as Uni said. Maybe the Ansels carried the seeds and they ended up here. That's nuts. They probably had the seeds stuck in their feathers. And they just happened to land here. Still, of all the places they could have bloomed. It's just random chance, Uni. Not like they grew here on purpose. Only questions whether they make it. They did choose. They chose to bloom up here. They never gave up. They're just like me. This world... It lives and breathes, just like me. Happy Revelation? Yeah, it's awesome.
I never thought we'd be able to find a serious anemone here. You look pretty pleased, Tyon. Make us a cover then. Also, wenn das jetzt die ganze Quest war, dann war das die einfachste Heldenmission von allen. I see it went well. We've already received your report. About the Ansel's impact on the environment. It's all good. Our survey branch will be monitoring the situation carefully. Then how about we leave the Levnesses here? Could you give us an update if you happen to find out anything new? You feeling okay there, Valdi? You sound like you're interested in something that's not a Levness. Oh, come on. They're adapting to their environment by themselves. It's such an amazing phenomenon. How could I possibly pass it up? Ah, how indeed. The most feared mechanic in Kevis. So wide-eyed and innocent. Huh? Up until we met in person, I pictured you as a cold, ruthless commander who would stop at nothing to achieve victory. That's the Colony 30 Consul's fault. Yeah. Valdi himself's got nothing but levness on the brain. Hey, that's mean. Well, perhaps you're right. I've been blindly sending Levnesses to their destruction. But you're only looking at one aspect of the whole. Aren't you furthering a large-scale project for a new model? I hear it's a type of Levness designed for a wholly different purpose. Huh? How'd you hear about that? The survey branch has eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, look at me and the fancy spy network I used to work for. You're talking about Doric. He's my friend. When he's finished, you've got to come visit. I believe I will. I look forward to building a lasting friendship with Colony 30. I'd be happy to accept your assistance in the future. Great, I can't wait. Good news all round, huh? Phew! Now I'm friends with Izzif! Yuzette has so got to hear about this! Well then, let's not keep him waiting. Back to Colony 30. I'm back! Hey, you taking it easy now? Yeah. You were gone for some time. It wasn't just a quick there and back. Yeah, one thing led to another. Sorry to butt in. Use it! The Nopod are in a real tizzy. Won't stop moaning about the lack of Levnite. Oh. They finally gone and used it up. Is it important? It's an ore we use for Levinus maintenance. Tune them up with it and they're gliding like they're on ice. We're already negotiating with Colony 4 to get us some of theirs. I, uh... Don't suppose you could try to smooth things over with the crew, just for the time being? Oof. Well, I'll see what I can do. Use that. You know that transmission we received earlier? Well, there's a problem. How much is this guy juggling? There's not much point in him trying to recuperate here when he keeps getting pestered like this. What? What do you mean? You can't erase a shipment? Ah, oh, I wasn't privy to the details. All I know is that some guy called Solon from Colony 4 told us to tell you. Hey, Noah. I know what you're thinking. Let's take this to Colony 4. Let's! There's been a change in Colony relations. What's going on in Colony 4, exactly? Let's go to Solon and the supply team. Hmm. These are not good tidings. Especially when we're so swamped. Excuse me, are you Solon? Huh? Hmm? Ah, yes. How may I help you? I'm here about the Levnite shipment to Colony 30. I was told that you couldn't send it, and I was hoping to find out why. Did you run into an issue? Well, we sent some of our compeers to Dana Desert, but we haven't heard from them since. I can't exactly leave my post, so I was deliberating as to how we should proceed. You said the desert, right? Anywhere in particular? The richest Levnite veins can be found by a landmark known as Glamrock. So you might try there. That seems like enough to go on, right?
We'll head out there to look for them. You... you do this. We can't just ignore someone in need. And besides, we need to get our hands on that Levnite. Well then, thank you very much. I hope to hear good news from you. So their friends didn't return? That sounds kind of worrying. We'd better go find them quick. There they are. We'll have this sorted out in a jiffy. Let's rush them down. Fine by me. Jetzt werden ein paar Mücken zerklatscht. Die werden nicht lange leben. monsters were there one would usually expect them to reside in their natural habitat above the great cot falls so they decide to move house this isn't walking distance we're talking here they'd have had to have migrated from their old territory after what happened to those mountains the ansels must have tried to take shelter beneath the great falls i'll bet that's what pushed these guys out and then they moseyed on over here to the desert Our squad leader just gave us an update. You're here to pick up the Levnite. If you want, we can just give it to you here. Saves you a trip back to Colony 4, right? You sure? Well, thanks. This will at least take one thing off your Zet's plate. See? I can get things done when I put my mind to it. We're done with the Levnite issue too. Back to Colony 30, then? Hold up. That Levinus. Hey, Commander. Good to see you back. Hey, Zuza. If this little buddy's the Levinus we lent Izzard, isn't it? Doesn't he want it anymore? To thank us for your offer of cooperation with Colony Lambda, they've sent us a fair bit of supplies and food. Wow! All this? I'll need to thank him a bunch. Ah, Commander, there you are. Guess what? Colony 4 just approached us with a deal to receive regular shipments of Levnite from them. What? 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 I'll head down the docks and tell everyone. And just like that, it would appear that the bond between our respective colonies has been restored. Nice one. Huh? He hasn't even realized, has he? Come on, man! You brought everyone together, Valdi. I... I did? It's really quite amazing. Even though you're all doing different things. You help each other out in all sorts of different ways. That's right. And when there's something missing, it always has a knock-on impact somewhere else. Sometimes you don't notice something's awry until after that effect has manifested itself. Ah. You know, the world's kind of like a levinous, isn't it? It's like a mesh of so many different parts, all interconnected. And because it's made up of all these different things and people, it moves. It's alive. So then, Valdi and Manana are also belong to parts of world? Not just us. My buddies here are too. Not just some tools to be used, eh? Right, they're not. I'm just reaching for ideas right now. But hey, I'm a mechanic. And if the world's like a Levinus, then I sure a spark should be able to fix it. I'll make a new tomorrow. Where we can all live in harmony. Ambitious goal for Grease Monkey. But willing to keep on radar, with much giving of side-eye. I'll take that as a compliment. Was not compliment. Well, I believe in you, mate. 
Your Kevis is number one mechanic, after all. You can't argue with that. <laughs> Shucks. Okay, then. Let's report him to Yuzette, shall we? There's been a change in colony relations. Ich weiß, ich bin heute sehr gesprächig, aber es ist auch sehr sequenzlastig heute wieder mal. Yuzette. Shouldn't you be lying down? Nah, I'm feeling way better. I'm not just putting on a brave face for you guys, okay? I'm not. Uh huh. All right. If you say so. Thanks for always getting us out of trouble, Yuzette. What? Where'd this come from? Turns out this guy is actually more thoughtful than you give him credit for. Thoughtful? From now on, I'm helping you with your chores. So let's both do the best we can, and make some of the finest levenesses the world has ever seen. Sure, count on it. Uh, as if, over my dead body. Huh? If I trust you with anything, things are gonna get way out of hand. You just casually go and extend the leases on Levenis rentals, you plain give away the materials that we cracked down on after we caught those guys illegally hoarding. Every time you give a report, my blood runs cold. Think about how I feel trying to manage this stuff. Ah, uh, right. Um, sorry. Still, I'm glad to see you're feeling well enough to give me a telling off like that. Glad? But I'm seething with rage here. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. So, uh, I guess none of this really sorted out Yuzette's workflow problem, did it? Yeah, I guess not. Huh. But maybe this is a good way for them to mesh in the end. Maybe it is. Remember what Issa told us? That you can't just look at one aspect of the whole. I think that's how it is with Colony 30. Irgendwie war das eine lahme Heldenmission. Ist jetzt hier eigentlich wieder irgendwas mit dem Roboter jetzt hier mal mittlerweile wieder? Ja, ich sehe das Fragezeichen doch schon. Kann ja mal gucken, wie viel ich da habe. Das waren zehn Phasen, ne? Um, 30%. Ich glaube, wir können das Ding direkt weiterbauen. Ich glaube, dass ich es direkt auf 100% bringen könnte. Aber... Ich würde sagen, das machen wir beim nächsten Mal. Das nächste Mal wohl doch nicht weiter mit Hauptstory. Haben hier in Kolonie 30 offenbar noch ein bisschen was zu tun. Ja, so knistern. Aber das kommt wahrscheinlich von irgendeinem äh, Mechaniker. Auf jeden Fall, Leute. Wenn euch das der Part gefallen hat, den letzten Abo und Like da... Und ich würde sagen, wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Ciao und bis dann.